Hey folks, Joseph A. Sabora here, and I'm doing yet another movie review this week. Yeah, I've been doing so far. But this time it's a movie that's something very different. Something I never thought I'd seen before, but I've seen movies quite like this. But this time it features a Spanish actor by the name of Eugenio Davez, who went on to do all these TV shows and, and movies. You know, during his career, yeah. Mo mostly Univision shows. He's a Mexican comedian, as well as a writer and director, and actor. So today I'm going to be reviewing the movie Instructions Not Included, and it stars Eugenio Davez, who not only went on to do those Univision shows, but he also made an appearance in the movie Jack and Jill with Adam Sandler as well as movies such as Under the Same Moon, uh, Girl in Progress uh, with I Evil Mendez, and of course he played the pet shop owner in the movie Beverly Hills Chihuahua. Yeah. So yeah, he was a star. Jessica Lindsay, who happens to be Eugenio's real-life wife, I thought they had very good chemistry together along with the debut of, of a young child actress, Dorito Peralta, with Daniel Raymond, Alexandra Rosalto, Hugo Stitlitz, Sammy Perez, Arkelia Ramirez, Carla Sosa, and Danny Lopez. The movie begins when a man named Ballantin, played by Eugenio Davez, has considered himself as a womanizer who meets so many women in his life that he loves, you know, becoming his own bachelor pad. That is until he meets an American girl who turns out to be his former, left her baby on his doorstep and takes off without a trace on a um, taxi cab. So prior to this, Ballantin decided to leave from Mexico to Los Angeles to find the baby's mother. Unfortunately, he couldn't find her. So since then, he winds up finding a new home for himself with his newfound daughter, Maggie. While Ballantin was considered as an unlikely father figure, he decided to raise Maggie for six years. While establishing himself as one of Hollywood's top stuntmen in order to pay the bills. Living in an apartment with each other, building with all these toys and stuff. Unfortunately, the only thing he couldn't pay was the elevator fee. Yeah, that was a runny joke in the movie. Meanwhile, Maggie was acting as his onset coach and always talks about all the stories that Valentine decided to make up since her mother went on to do all these other stuff while she was gone, sending all these fake letters to her, or what seems to be. But with their unique and offbeat family, however, it has been threatening when Maggie's mother finally shows up out of the blue. Valentine realized that he's in danger of losing his daughter, which leads to even bigger problems. It's not exactly, you know, an original plot when you think about it, but at this rate, this was a different movie. It's sort of similar to the film Kramer vs. Kramer, except, which I agree it's a far better movie, but on the plus side, it's a very different movie, because it mostly focuses on Valentin's character that eventually, you know, all, all of his life, you know, he was afraid of heights, so he wants up, you know, dealing with his father's uh, discussion about this. He didn't like the fact that he's been you know, treated this way uh, since they both had an argument. As years follow, he, he did remember that no matter what happens, he'll always you know, be able to live. Even if he had to fall on one of the toppest buildings that he ever had to face. You know, and <laughs> I know. I mean, that's what got him into the lead of the stuntman. So. But anyway, but for the movie's sake though, I really did enjoy Eugenio Davis's character. I also loved the little girl too. It was played by Dorito Prada, 
as Maggie. Uh, this was her screen debut. And she looks very cute. You know, she looks almost like uh, a very young uh, Abigail Breslin, if you think of it this way. In fact, she does look like Abigail Breslin. And strangely enough. Yeah, she was very sweet. They had a great cast, too. I'm surprised to find out that... Uh, at first, I thought Johnny Depp was actually in this movie as a cameo. Uncredited cameo, but it turns out... Yeah, I did my research already, uh, just earlier. That he was... Uh, he was played by Danny Lopez as Johnny Depp's impersonator. That was pretty odd, too, when I did my research on that. But that was cool. Because I guess Johnny Depp was, was too busy. That's true. It was very funny. Um, very cute, too. I, I love the stop-motion animation scenes of the story that you know, his daughter was talking about. With all the letters that she receives. And also the fact that they talk about Johnny Bravo. Yeah, they actually added the Johnny Bravo toy character you know, from the TV show. But actually, yeah, his father was was considered him as Johnny Bravo. So that was pretty cool. But it was also cool to see him play a stuntman, you know. You know, working for all these movies. So Aztec Man and all that. It was, it was fun. Um, but I gotta say, though, the only problem I had with the movie, on the other hand, though, was they had so many cliches in this movie. Like, pretty much like in all movies like this, you always get the courtroom scene and then the paternity test, like we really need that, you know, seeing what, what's going on. Uh, I'm not going to give so much away with this because I know I won't. I mean, it's best not to give it away. But I got to admit, it was pretty sad too at the end. Uh, and, but once you see this movie, you're going to enjoy it. it. It's something that you, you never thought you'd see before, even though... It may sound familiar to you, but actually, it's far different. And I, I really enjoyed it. it. It was, it was a very good film. I think it's, I would consider this uh, the best movie I've seen this year, um, or any other year. But I think this year would top it because you know, I haven't seen movies like this for a while. And, and you know, I, I love the actor too. You know, he's he's very funny. And he's been doing a lot of shows over the years, so I'm glad to see that he's in movies now. And hopefully, he'll be in more movies like this so later in the future, since he's already in a few films. I have yet to check them out too. Um, but yeah, um, I definitely say it's worth recommending. You should definitely check this out. If it's playing everywhere, otherwise you'll probably wait till it comes on DVD and Blu-ray so you can see it for yourself. Maybe Netflix too. I had a very good time seeing this movie. You know, I'm, I was very happy and sad too. Also, I have to mention that the movie is, of course, in Spanish, but it's also in English as well. It has subtitles in English, so that way you'll know what they're saying. Plus, he was the only one that speaks Spanish, though, surprisingly enough. And he also directed the movie too, and he wrote, wrote it as well. So that was considered to be his film. But, still. But anyway, I give instructions not included five stars. I'm Joseph A. Sabora, and I'll see you later. Bye.